since integrals are useful in finding areas, we would expect them to be helpful also when we are looking for the area of a region between two curves. More specifically, let's consider the two curves to be given by graphs of functions f and g over an interval a, b. Then the signed area between these two curves is given by the integral of the difference of the two functions over the interval, so that is the definite integral from a to b of f of x minus g of x dx. And this is for the simple reason is that the integral of the difference is the difference of the integrals, so therefore there is the difference of the signed areas. So let's consider the uh, two graphs to be uh, something like this. And then the integral of f uh, with respect to x with, from a to b is the area of the region shaded in red here, whereas the integral of g from a to b is the area of the region shaded in green there. Now the difference of these two integrals is the integral of the difference is the area of the region between the two graphs and that would be um, giving us the area between the two curves. Now let's compute some areas between curves. Which integral can be used to find the area of a circle of radius r? Pause the video, select your answer and also evaluate the integral. Okay, I hope you paused the video and selected this integral. So this is twice the area under the upper semicircle um, of radius r that is centered at the origin. So this area can be computed as two times the integral from negative r to r of the square root of r squared minus x squared dx. And to evaluate this integral, uh, a trigonometric substitution would be useful of the form x equals r times the sine of theta or the cosine of theta. Here I will go with the choice r times the sine of theta. And that means that uh, dx is r times the cosine of theta d theta. And as x changes from uh, negative r to r, that means that the sine of theta must change from uh, negative one to one, therefore theta goes from negative pi over two to pi over two. And we get the integral to be twice the integral from negative pi over two to pi over two of well, the square rooted expression, square root of r squared minus x squared, with this choice of x being r times the sine of theta, using trigonometric identities, gives us r times the cosine of theta, after taking the square root, and from the dx we get another factor of r times the cosine of theta, therefore it's r squared times the cosine squared of theta d theta. Um, so the factor of r squared we can uh, pull out, and we are left with the integral from negative pi over two to pi over two of cosine squared theta d theta. Here we can use the double angle formula for the cosine along with the trigonometric identity telling us that the sum of the squares of sines and cosines is always one. We can write um, the integrand that is cosine squared of theta as um, one plus cosine two theta, all divided by two. Those factors of two cancel nicely. And then we are left with r squared times the integral from negative pi over two to pi over two of one plus the cosine of two theta. An antiderivative for that could be theta plus sine two theta over two it's multiplied by r square and it's the change of this function as theta goes from negative pi over two to pi over two is what we need to compute. Well, the change in sine at those values is zero and the change in theta between those values is pi over two minus negative pi over two and that is pi. So we get pi times r squared as expected. Let's look at the next question. Find the area of the bounded region between the curves where y is equal to 3x squared and y is equal to 3 times the square root of x. Pause the video and input your answer in the box. Hope you paused it and have inputted 1 for this area. So we can find the area by first finding the intersection points of these two curves. So if you were to plot the graphs of these functions, um, you get two parabolic arcs. So y equals 3 times x squared looks something like this, whereas y equals 3 times root x looks something like this. 
and the intersection points can be found to, to be at the origin at and at the point with where it x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 3. Okay, and we are interested in finding the area of this region in particular. You may notice how 3 times the square root of x is above uh, 3x squared over this uh, interval between 0 and 1. So this area will be given by the integral from 0 to 1 of the difference of the two functions of x, uh, namely 3 times uh, square root of x minus 3 times x squared. Now, this integral can be uh, evaluated using the power rule because here we have 3 times x to the half, so that's um, x to the 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2, there's a factor of 3, let's not forget about that, uh, from which we need to subtract x cubed, so this would be an antiderivative, the change between 0 and 1 uh, is, well, we can simplify it for, uh, slightly, we have 2 times uh, x to the 3 over 2 minus x cubed. At x equals 1, that gives us 2 times 1 to the 3 over 2 minus 1 cubed. And at x equals 0, we get 0, but this is nothing but uh, 2 minus 1, which is 1. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.